Hello and welcome back to The Wellness Check. Today we're going to talk a little bit about ways in which to keep anxiety down using bilateral stimulation at home. This is not a replacement for EMDR or brain spotting. This is not EMDR or brain spotting, but you can use the same tools that we use here in the office during those interventions and techniques to keep your anxiety down at home. So bilateral stimulation is a very fancy phrase, very fancy couple words to describe stimulating both hemispheres of the brain at the same time. So information is going across that midsection of the brain there and in EMDR, we obviously use that as the main technique, right? That's what we do in EMDR. But if we're just doing at home anxiety reduction, stress management, there are certain things that you can do to keep that at bay. You can teach this to your children, you can teach this to your friends. There is no harm that can be done from the things I'm gonna show you today. Um, and they can help you at low levels of stress and anxiety and they can be helpful at higher levels, but sometimes we all, we just get past that threshold of stress and we might need other kind of techniques to help us through that. So bilateral stimulation in a nutshell is left, right, left, right, left, right. Which means technically going for a walk is bilateral stimulation. And I often tell clients after a tough EMDR session or even after brain spotting for that matter, because it's the same part of the brain that's activated during those, during those things, is to go for a walk. If we're virtual, I say hang up the call, go for a walk around your neighborhood or around your office just for a little while. Um, and if they're in my office, I say, what are you doing after this? Can you just go take a walk, right? Barring that it's not either 100 degrees or 25 degrees um, or nighttime, right? We wanna be safe with it. But that left, right, left, right of walking puts sensory input into your feet, into that left, right, left, right pattern. So after a tough session, or if you're feeling anxious or just really kind of agitated or overwhelmed, going for a walk, as cliche as that sounds, um, can be helpful. So that left, right, the bilateral stimulation is happening. Whatever is triggering you in that moment is very likely to be filed away in, a, in, in sorts um, so that it's not as activating in that moment and maybe even for the rest of the day. The walk could be five minutes, 10 minutes. If you're a big walker and you like to do that, go for it, do a longer walk if the weather and day time of day is appropriate. That's probably the easiest way to get bilateral stimulation. Maybe the most fun because you get to get outdoors too. Okay, so now if we know that bilateral stimulation is left, right, left, right, now you can kind of see lots of ways in which we could do this. One of my favorite ways is called the butterfly hug. You've seen me do this before in my videos and it looks like this. Okay. Now, in EMDR, when we are doing trauma processing, we're doing it really, really, really fast. This is not what you want to do. Don't do that. <laughs> if we are trying to reduce anxiety, we want to go really, really slow. Okay. So if you want to try this, you just sit at your computer. You can either interlace your thumbs like a little bird and do it on your collarbones, or you can kind of wrap your, your hands around your arms and you're going to go really, really slow. Okay, this one might be better to do if you are in the privacy of your own home or if you don't care what people think about you, if you're sitting at your office chair, office desk in front of people. This really only takes just a few minutes to bring that activation down. This is a good one to do if you are a hugger or if you get comfort out of a squeeze like this. And truth be told, not everybody does. For some people, this might feel really claustrophobic. This might actually feel kind of triggering, depending on what your trauma history is. So the ones that like to feel cuddled and hugged, this one's wonderful, okay? Um, another one is, that's maybe a little less conspicuous, um, if, you're, if you're a student, if you're any, anybody, if you're sitting in a chair, you can bring your toes up, just really slow. You can actually bring your heels up too, it doesn't matter. And really, really slow underneath your, your um, chair, 
you are doing bilateral stimulation with your feet. Your body is still getting tactile input that says, hey, I'm getting some pressure here on the, on the left side, I'm getting some pressure here on the right side. And if we do it really, really slow, for three minutes even, you will notice your nervous system beginning to calm down. This is a really good one for uh, if you have a presentation that day or if you're about to take a big test. Um, even just if you're at home and you're nervous about something, the feet one, nobody knows what you're doing. Nobody's looking, nobody cares, okay? That's also a really good one to do underneath the covers when you're getting ready for bed. Okay, you have the pressure of the sheets and comforter on top of you or the quilt or whatever it is. And as those covers are on top of you, you're nestling into your bed for night. Maybe you have some racing thoughts and you're trying to get sleepy. Same thing, just pump your feet underneath the sheets. Okay, okay, I'm gonna share two more with you. One is very similar to the taps that we've been doing and it's just on your knees. So if you're sitting down in a chair, you can just put your hands on top of your knees, on top of your legs, and you can very slowly go like this too, right? So you're getting the gist of it. Last one I'm gonna show you is maybe one of my favorites, and it's an auditory um, bilateral stimulation technique. And this one involves putting headphones on. It has to be done with headphones. And you can download bilateral tracks on um, your favorite music platform, and, um, and they're free. And the, what they do is they have tones that go in one ear and then the other ear, and then one ear, and in the other ear. And the tones can be something as simple as like a, a gong kind of sound or a chime. And they can also be uh, nature sounds, nature kind of soundscapes or instrumental. And what I love about that is you can actually sit at your computer and do your work and do your homework and type things out, but you're also simultaneously getting that auditory input of the left, right, left, right. There's no words that you have to listen to. You don't wanna do any bilateral tracks that have words because that, that triggers another part of the brain to start working, which we don't wanna do. It's just kind of this more subliminal, quiet, peaceful sound undulating from ear to ear and you can still do what you're doing and get and get work done and nobody knows what you're doing. So I want you guys to try some of these things out. Um, give it a try and see if you notice positive changes in your um, stress levels throughout the day, in your anxiety, if you're nervous about a work or school engagement, how these help you. You can use them as much as you want. There's no harm that can be done by doing them. You can teach them to your family and friends. I feel like the more of us that are out there that are regulated and, and doing okay, the better. So I hope that this helps. I hope this is an easy way for you to kind of get into the world of emotional regulation and to take care of your nervous system. Because as we know through the day, there are many, many reasons why um, we are stressed why we can get stressed, what we have stress that's coming up for us or what stresses us out from the past. Many, many things to stress about. So I just, I wanted to share these very simple tools and tricks with you um, to try and make you feel a little bit better throughout the day. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Thank you for checking in with your wellness as always. I'll see you soon.